In this video, we're going to explore two of OnePager's automated organizational features, swim lanes and rows. By now, you've probably figured out that OnePager can group your tasks into swim lanes based on a specific column of data in your project document. Let's take a look at a view that employs use of this capability. Here, you see both the swim lanes column and the rows column being shown. The swim lane values for the phases of my plan are currently represented as the outline level one tasks within my source document while the values showing in my rows come from the status column in MS Project. Let's explore the Swim Lanes and Rows tab in our template and Properties of the Project View form to help understand how the settings control the visual. To get there, I'm going to click my Project View Properties button within the one-pager document I have open and navigate to the Swim Lanes and Rows tab. The initial settings in this tab were populated by my template. However, I can change anything in here on the fly if I want. In this dialog box, we have five sections. The first, Rows, essentially controls the volume of rows relative to the amount of tasks in your visual. You can make the count of rows fall between a high and low number, have one pager group tasks into common rows based on shared values from your source document, or designate a specific number of rows. The Swim Lane section controls what data in your source document is being used to group tasks into swim lanes. For example, if I wanted my tasks organized into project phases, which I had noted in my plan, I would ask one pager to organize my tasks into swim lanes using the column where those phase values are noted. If I decide I want to change the value driving my swim lane organization later, that's okay. I can change any value that has a drop down on the fly. The labels section controls a few things. The checkboxes will control whether or not the actual swim lanes or rows column will display. Notice if I uncheck the show row labels checkbox and hit the apply button, the underlying data column is hidden. To turn it back on, I would just recheck the box and hit apply again. This section will also allow you to control the font and alignment of the font for the swim lane and row labels, the width of those columns, and which column from your source document is being used to drive the actual values used for the labels. The ordering section will control how your swim lanes and rows are ordered or sorted, and the border section will allow you to modify your border formatting or turn swim lane and row borders on and off. If I click back to my visual, notice that there are other changes that I can make without using the properties of the project view or template forms. First, while the ordering section of my template controlled the initial result, I can drag and drop swim lanes and rows up and down with drag and drop. Second, I can drag and drop my swim lane widths. Third, I can drag and drop the height of one or many swim lanes or rows at a time. Also, if I select one or many swim lanes at once, I can also leverage many of the formatting options on the Home tab to change the appearance of the swim lane or row labels and cells. Next, if I right-click into one or many swim lanes that have been selected, I get a few options in my list that are also worth noting. I can add swim lanes on the fly, hide swim lanes, add rows to swim lanes, break individual rows within my swim lanes into their own swim lane, and also merge swim lanes together. If I hit the properties item at the bottom of my list, you'll notice that I have even more control over my swim lane formatting that can be applied to one or many swim lanes or rows at a time. As with most of the functionality in OnePager, the best way to learn it is to play with it. The more you tinker with the settings within the project view properties form and see how the changes will modify your image in real time, the better you'll get at achieving what you want when you first create your visual. For more information on how to use OnePager, please visit our website at www.chroniclegraphics.com or email us at support at chroniclegraphics.com and we'll be happy to assist you.